Happy August 17th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy located the insects who had plundered Long Watch. It had been a long night. She had defended the Fun Guys saloon when the insects first attacked, and when she discovered they were ransacking the city, she rallied the townsfolk and fought off more of them until the rest retreated. Then the party had spent all night looking for where exactly the ne'er-do-wells had gone when they fled into the wilderness with bits of the mushroom buildings. They weren't in the nearby mountains, they weren't in the nearby forest, but we did finally locate them in a gulch, and by that time Ivy had had enough. She charged in and tried to scare the beetle wagon haulers, these guys. They were completely unfazed, and that is where we left things, so let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. The insects mount the beetles and swiftly depart down the gulch with the carts. This is your chance to strike. The airborne insects swoop in, moving to intercept you. Uh, we've got four of them. Um, there's a constitution roll here in addition to the normal stuff. I don't see any hidden icons. It has been a while since we've seen a hidden icon, so I'm growing increasingly suspicious that I am missing them or have missed one. But let's see. Yeah, we're getting straight into it. Enemy 1, 2, 3, and 4. What's the constitution roll about? If the enemy dealt damage to you and your constitution is less than the, your roll, you are poisoned. Oh, your, if your constitution result is re less than the requirement here, it's 11. Straight down the board. Uh, so we need to roll. If we get hit, we need to roll an 11 or better to avoid being poisoned. Um, the result of poison is the normal. Uh, you make a roll, a constitution roll at the end of each page, and if you fail it, you reduce your health by one. Um, do, did we buy an antidote? Yep, we did buy it. We have an antidote on board, so not too worried about that. It doesn't say doesn't say the poison stacks <laughs> could you get poisoned by four of these guys and take four points of damage every page uh, you're either poisoned or not I think so okay here we go enemy one the insect rapidly ascends from below attempting to crash into you with its sharp appendages we need to we don't have any bonuses or malices today that we have to remember um, so we need to hit this first guy's armor, his defense is 14. We roll an 8, plus 7 attack is 15. So we hit him, and then we need our damage dice. We're hoping to do 15 damage or more. 8 plus 2 is 10, that is not 15. So he attacks us, and we want to defend against an attack of 15. We get a 6, plus 9 defense, that's a 15. We defend, we take 1 point of damage. And are we poisoned? I'm just going to keep tally marks for how much damage we take. And slide this over here. Um, tally points for how much damage we take. The constitution roll. That's what we want to do. Are we poisoned? 8 plus 2 constitution is 10. Uh, we have a consumable. So, yeah, but we've got three more chances of being poisoned. I think odds are we're going to get poisoned, so I think we'll just wait to the end of this and then decide if we want to <laughs> use our antidote or not. Um, the poison I'm not real worried about. There's there's just a like a less than a 50% chance of taking one point of damage per page. We've got lots of healing abilities and stuff. So I think we're going to go ahead and say that Ivy is poisoned put that in there to remind me uh, there is a poison checkbox here but I'm gonna write it somewhere I will write it in red poisoned okay enemy two uh, the insect releases a cloud of toxic mist trying to envelop you in a poisonous haze all right. D 
defense. His defense is 16. We get a 19. That's 12 plus 7. So we hit him. We're hoping to do 13 damage. And that's 10 plus 2 is 12. Not quite enough. Uh, what can we do? We've got Vinny and Brindle. We've got a solar flare. Let's use a solar flare. Um, I guess we, I guess we should try party members first, especially when we just need one point. Vinny, Brindle, or Kit. Here we go. Because I don't think we have anything else going on on this page, so we may as well use these guys when we can. Vinny is out of the running because he's exhausted from his previous efforts to help us. And we've got Brindle, uh, the tech mage. He can add plus three damage, and uh, Kit can add plus uh, d4 damage. So let's try Kit. We need a club. Great. Actually, they both need a club greater than or equal to six. So this is for Kit. A club greater than or equal to six. Nope. It's a, it's a spade, so, and it's a face card. So Kit takes a point of damage or expends a um, point of energy. What's his health? Five. He's got plenty of room <laughs> to fail. Uh, okay. Oh, well, I guess we could try Brindle. Let's try Brindle too. Why not? Uh, club greater than or equal to six. Nope. But it's not a face card, so he doesn't get hurt. And um, so that was... And Vinny's out of the running. What do we got? Solar Flare. Um... Solar Flare, and we do have a consumable Dragon's Fire, but I think I'm going to save that. Let's go ahead and use the Solar Flare. We only need one point, so uh, use one Surge, add D4 to a single damage roll. We'll do that, and that kills the second bug. So I'm going to keep track here. Bugs killed. One. <laughs> <laughs> the other one we uh, we damaged but did not kill or defeat, I guess. Enemy three. The insect darts around you, launching a barrage of quick and precise attacks. We want to hit a defense of 17. Wow, 16. We hit it. 16 plus 7 is uh, 23. Now we want to. Do 10 points of damage or more, and we get it. 9 plus 2 is 11. So we defeat enemy 3. Excellent. With no questions asked. All right. Enemy 4. The insect beats its wings forcefully, creating a powerful gust of wind that knocks you back. We want to beat his defense of 15. We get it. 19 plus 7 is 26. We want to do 12 points of damage or more. We get 5. Uh, plus 2 is 7. I don't think we're getting 5. Well, I mean, we may as well. We need 5 more points of damage. Um, we can do 2 solar flares and we have a uh, consumable. What do we get? We get amber if we defeat these guys. We're already poisoned, so I haven't been bothering to make those rolls. So I assume we're going to use our antidote. All right, is that, is that a 13? Wait a minute. What were we doing? <laughs> we're trying to... Oh, no, we did damage. Uh, 5 plus 2 is 7. He's got 12. Can we get 5 more points of, of damage? We'll use the solar flares. We can do 2 more solar flares. And the rules say you can double up on these abilities. So let's do it. Um, we need to roll a d4... We're going to roll two of these. Two. Can we get a three or better? Yes. We got a four. So we do we do a total of 13 points of damage. That's enough to take him out. And that is uh, three bugs killed. And all of our surges used. I'm wondering now if we could have gotten that first guy. I don't remember how much damage. Oh, he had 15 health. I think we were further further from uh, defeating him but that first guy got away and poisoned us um, should we use our antidote let's see how the poison goes we might we might be able to rest uh, sometime soon and a rest also gets rid of poison 
So we'll use our antidote if we get in trouble. Um, but for now, let's do this. Let's do this uh, poison roll. At the end of each page, including this one, roll d20 plus constitution. 14, uh, 15, 16. If the result is 10 or less, reduce your health by one. You can cure poison with an antidote or by taking a rest. So uh, we are poisoned, but we didn't take another point of damage. But now we're down to 18 health. And uh, it is Sunday. That's everything on the calendar for today. But it is Sunday, so we can do the Sunday lottery. <clears throat> we are out here in the middle of nowhere, so let's see. Let's see what happens. These are my cards of nonsensicalness, <laughs> because I find it strange to be able to play the Sunday lottery out in the middle of nowhere. But here we go. Anyway, let's see uh, what happens. Let's do this card first. Uh, D6. Four. A, <laughs> a mole machine tunnels up from the ground and out steps a mean little hummingbird. <laughs> We've encountered one before. That's a callback to, um, um, I think, when we fought the flying serpent. Okay, uh, out from the mole machine steps a mean little, little hummingbird. Um... Wearing an ugly Christmas sweater. These are popular in the Sunday Lottery office. <laughs> He's wearing an ugly Christmas sweater with the words Sunday Lottery knitted upon it. And he has a box with a slot in it. We can put two amber in the box and then we get to open the box. And inside, oh, that's a good roll. I think inside we're going to five five amber, our two initial amber, and three more. I can find the rules. Yep, game three amber. So, outstanding. <laughs> Defeat three insects. Earn three more amber, which reminds me we didn't actually do the amber roll for our winnings. Hold on. Um, we defeated three insects. So that's D4 plus one amber that we gained from the... Oh, one. <laughs> so we get two more amber for defeating these insects. We're up to 16. All right, well, that, my friends, is August 17th and 18th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again on Monday. I hope you will join us. Thanks for watching.